pick up some guns and ammo but the way that your infection system works is as you shoot zombies they will splatter blood of course and if you're too close when you shoot zombies the blood will get on you and you will start to get infected now you don't want that infection meter to go too high if it does you start to turn into a zombie and I'll show you how that works here we go so if you get too close and you shoot them, you see the screen flashes red to let you know that you are being infected. So you can see the meter on the left is going up. If you're too close and they hit you, that affects your health. So if your health goes to zero, you die, of course. But once your infection meter reaches 100%, you go into infection mode. And infection mode, I'm quite proud of. I worked on it all day. And uh, <clears throat> I will show you, oh, I'm trying to figure out if I should show you the computer feature or I'll just keep going with it. I'll show you that next. It's, uh, as you can see over here, the currency in the game is Bitcoin. You can find the USB sticks throughout the game, plug them into your computer and take the Bitcoin. But I'll get into that in a minute. Let's go down the basement and I'll show you how the infection system works. I think it's pretty awesome. Alright, let's go. So I'm going to take out the shotgun. Here I can uh, drag these into the hotkeys. Oh, who does this guy think he is? Mad. So yeah, it flashes red every time you get hit. I'm going to take out my Uzis here. Almost halfway through infection. Get my shotgun because that sprays the most blood and will really get me infected quicker. Here we go. Oh, shiza. All right, now I'm infected. Now I'm infected. So once you go infected, now you can see everything's kind of blurred around the edges, and I'm totally ragdoll. Like I'm really messed up. But you can turn your character around. And you can still sort of attack. You just have to plan your timing better. And you can see my health is like going down real fast. So I'm about to die unless I can get back upstairs and get some food. I don't think I'm going to make it. Uh oh. Uh, run! <laughs> Oh, grab that. Grab it. No, oh, I died. Well, that that was not good. All right, so let me show you <laughs> real quick. Let me grab up the shotgun here. Take these guys out. What are you doing in my room? See, I got a little infection there. And that's about a good distance there. All right, so we got a computer. If we go over here, we can see computer terminal, internet online. So even during the apocalypse, you were able to wire into an internet connection, kind of underground, black market, whatever, that even once everything officially, all the big networks, corporations, their internet service goes down in this world, you still have a backup connection because you got some geeky friend in the game who is a whiz and all that stuff. And if you hover over here, you can see that we have a couple USB sticks, crypto cold storage. So I'll pick those up. And now, kind of like the old click and point adventure games, I've got my crypto cold storage up here. And as long as I'm in front of a computer terminal, I can double click and I got 87 Bitcoin. Yeah. All right. Now I got one left. Let's double click again. Oh, 69 Bitcoin. So we now I got 156 Bitcoin. So in the apocalypse, people still trade in Bitcoin, but as you can see, the prices of things has been hyper, hyper, hyper inflated. So I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna grab a Puckman pizza. What's this? Oh, we got a zombie vaccine. All right, look at this zombie vaccine cures zombie infection. So what I showed you earlier, when you get infected by a zombie, you can 
administer this vaccine into yourself and return to normal. And here we have a storage chest, so you can open up your chest and move it wherever you want here. And you can put your items in the chest if you would like. And then you can right click to add them back to your inventory. All right. Let's grab some guns here. If you'd like to continue watching, I'm going to go outside here and shoot some zombies with my Uzis. And I'm going to get infected, and then I'm going to use the vaccine to return to normal, just to show off that feature. So, okay, here we go. Here's a lot of zombies over here. And what I like about the Uzis is you can, you can aim multiple directions. You got to keep them away from you. And also you can use masks in the game to cover your face to reduce the infection that you get. All right, but let's go ahead and let's equip our shotgun. Maximum splatter. And let's get infected here. Oh no, he's not shooting. I've got 43, I think I died. That's why he didn't shoot. All right, let's go do that real quick again. You sons of bitches, I am going to get my revenge. How dare you kill me in my own game demo. Now you die. For some reason, I can't fire my shotgun. Alright, somehow it's getting uh, ejected from the inventory. So, we found a bug in real time, folks. Alright, I'm going to fix that. Now, here I am. I'm turning into a zombie. And I am not doing very well. So, what do I do? I gotta run back and get that vaccine because that was in a previous game. Holy moly, let's get out of here. So as you can see, you do have some time to play as a zombie in the making. Gives you a chance to find a vaccine before you are transitioned into the living dead. I got my vaccine. Now I'm out of here. Leave me alone. And we'll do our vaccine now. And here's a transition. All right. Back to ourself. All right. I'm going to figure out what caused that bug. And thank you for watching the video. I'm really looking forward to releasing this game. And I think this is going to be a lot of fun.